Hello, I'm going to show you how to set up the Tenable Core appliance with Tenable SC. So what you see here is the after I started it up. Now, when you first deploy it within VMware, whether that's ESXi or vSphere, wherever you can deploy the OVA, it's pre-configured, so it's got the four vCPUs, eight gigs of RAM, and about 250 gigs of hard disk space already reserved for it. Now you can do either thin provision or thick provision, it's completely up to you. With basically, however, you know, your environment deems it necessary. Now, when you first turn it on, uh, it'll go through a CentOS 7 boot up image. You'll actually see it attempt to grab an IP address. Now, if it doesn't, it's gonna give you a 127 uh, address. If it it's able to successfully grab an IP address, it'll give you the IP it grabbed. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to log in with the username and password and then change the IP address. So the first the username is wizard, password is admin. Now you'll get to set a static IP and yes, and we're gonna go ahead and edit that. Show to manual. And we're gonna go ahead and add that IP address. Now what we need to do is denote it to the CIDR. Um, this is going to be your subnet mask. And then go down to your gateway, add all this stuff in, and then the DNS servers. DNS servers are important because it's how the Tenable SE will resolve the IPs to names. and search domains. You can do add multiple DNS and you can add multiple search domains. Once that is set, we'll go down to OK and then quit. Now, this is a personal preference, but I don't set the admin account during in the console because if I use a password manager, I can't save it using the password manager or generate one. So we're going to hit no for now. And then we're going to verify that the IP was applied. And as you can see, the IP address was applied. What we're gonna do is switch over to my browser and we're gonna go ahead and drop that in there. So, I kinda got already saved. We're good to go. And then the wizard, admin, check the box. I'll explain what that box does here in a little bit. Now the password has to be 14 characters long, upper, lower case, and special characters because it is a hardened appliance. You'll get dropped down, re-log in. If you do forget the username and password, uh, you'll need to reach out to Tenable Support, uh, or if you know how to reset a password for a CentOS VM, um, you can do it that way. So as you can see here, we are given the link to the Tenable SC um, um, URL just over H standard HTTPS. Now, a couple things to call out, system. The host name, Tenable SC is keyed off your host name, and that's how the license is applied. So you'll need to set the host name and then reboot. So if you just do like Tenable SC dash, uh, or Tenable and then do dash SC and hit change, you'll need to restart this by just clicking restart and then no delay. Basically just telling S the appliance to restart now instead of having to wait a minute. Once you reboot, the host name will be applied. Now, under networking, you can actually change the, now if you grab a static uh, DHCP and you wanna change the IP address, you can change it here. Uh, updates, Tenable, uh, the appliance will automatically reach out if it's connected to the internet to download the latest OS updates and application updates. It's done this through the initial setup. However, periodically we will release updates. If you are in an offline environment, we do release these in an offline tar file so you can apply those um, as needed. So that way your OS is kept up to date and the appliance is kept up to date with the latest version. Now, if you have any questions, um, I'm gonna post the documentation for the Tenable Core. I'm gonna post the URLs to whitelist and anything like that. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, if you wanna see anything additional, uh, just let me know in the comments below. Have a good one.